welcome to Seagrass Village. Fleming Island's premier senior community. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Kathleen McDonald, the sales director here at Seagrass Village. And I also want to thank you for coming to join us today for our first Facebook Live event. Uh, I want to start off by saying everything happens right here in the lobby with our, our concierge. They are the multitaskers, they're your go-to person. Anything that you need, they're going to be able to provide for you, even if it's just a conversation at night, uh, coming down just to be with somebody, they're always here for you. Sheila Highsmith is our concierge that is on duty today. And I do want to mention that Sheila has recently been awarded our um, Employee of the Month. Sheila does a great job as well as the rest of her team. Uh, and their manager is Chris Gullen, who does a terrific job. Uh, you've never met a nicer guy, you're more confident. Um, it's obvious that we're in our lobby, and we're moving on to our bar and bistro, the favorite part of the building, in addition to dining. Our, <laughs> a dog just ran by. <laughs> our bar and bistro is open six days a week, an open bar for family and friends, but more than that, it's a place where our residents come down and they socialize, they get out of their apartments, because really when you live in a community like this, it's about relationship building and the friendships that you make. Um, Juanita, hi Juanita, she's actually our bartender today, but she's in our social department. Uh, she can serve in any kind of beverage that you're looking for. She's also involved in the fun in the community with Susie, our director. They're the ones that uh, have the entertainment, set up the entertainment parties. Again, they're your go-to people. They're uh, really, really the person that you want to go to when you have any questions or concerns or you have an idea about something fun to do. We're going to move on now into our Lanai, and we have residents out here right now that are uh, participating in our happy hour, but also, <laughs> also, even animals participate. But uh, Susie is our social director, and I'll let Susie tell you a little bit about herself and her team. I want to Susie, I'm. I am the social director for Seagrass Village. I've been here for two years. Uh, we love to do big parties and theme parties, and we have lots of different activities from aqua aerobics to church services, happy hour, Monday through Saturday, and we love to dress up. So anything you want to do, let me know. We do a lot of variety of games from bingo to shuffleboard to blackjack, uh, room cube, all kinds of stuff. So. Fabulous. Thank you, Suze. And for all you do for our residents and their families. Uh, the pool area uh, actually is not occupied right now, but we do have a service that comes in, and they actually get in the pool, and that's how our pool gets used. They make it fun. In a few minutes, we're going to meet our executive director, Taylor Campbell, and she's going to be with me to answer any of your questions or the concerns you may have or anything you need to know about yeah. Seagrass Village. I did want to mention that also, I've been doing this for 18 years and the most important thing that I think I can talk about is the relationship building again and the friendships, but our solid team. Most of the people on our team have been doing this for a very long time. Uh, we've worked together. We've known each other. We have had the same people in place for the whole two and a half years that we've been building, and we're very proud of that. We have a very strong foundation. Hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, Andy. Our residents are now enjoying a special surprise for me. Brian, Brian is our culinary director and was recently awarded Culinary Director of the Year. If you know Brian the way that we know Brian, nothing is normal. Everything's always over the top. He likes to really treat the residents. Come on over and see what Brian has cooking. When you see me slicing it like this, the peel 
So after we get all of our bananas sliced up into our brown sugar and butter, we're going to toss them around a little bit, get them all nice and caramelized, and start softening up and cooking down. And then to that, we're going to add a little bit of dark rum. A little bit of banana liqueur. And then a little bit of cinnamon. I told you everything he does is over the top. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you also to Ann McNulty. She is our resident service director. Ann's been great. We're so blessed to have her. And I'd like her to say a few things. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we wish you could be here in person, but we are glad that you're having this opportunity to at least come in and, and see our wonderful community from, from afar. So, um, yes. What can I say about seagrass? Um, there really are no words. Um, this community is built on uh, relationships, love, caring. You know, we have all been through a very difficult time, especially the residents here. We all are making the best out of it. We are continuing to support each other, and everyone has just come together in a way that, you know, touches my heart. So, welcome. Um, I'm here to answer any questions with regards to care. Um, we're just happy to have you. Thank you, Anne. Of course. We are now on our way to our bottle, but I also wanted to point out to our left, there's a beauty salon. And there's also a fitness center where residents can work out uh, themselves. Or also, we have therapy in our building. Strive Therapy is a part of uh, our team, and uh, they will be able to help you with any needs that you might have that the dire doctor would require. Um, we're we're going to go this way. And welcome to our model. Welcome, Kathleen. This is our one bedroom, one bath, independent model, and I'd love to show you around. Kathleen, if you would like to have a seat Thank and you. prepare yourself for questions, I'm going to take the camera and have you look around. Taylor, you can join Kathleen as well. So this is our one bedroom, one bathroom, independent model with the patio. We offer a full-size refrigerator. We have an oven and a stove, a microwave to reheat. Behind this door, you'll find a washer dryer. We have a bathroom with safety precautions built in. We call it zero entry shower, no trip hazard. It's a beautiful shower. Of course, we have a pull system, even an independent, in case of emergency. And this would be the bedroom. It's a spacious one bedroom where you can put your TV on this wall. Plenty of room, nice size closet. All right. We're gonna head over here onto the living room area. It looks like we have some questions. So we're gonna to talk to Kathleen, our director of sales, and Taylor, our executive director. I first wanted to introduce Taylor. Taylor was actually with me during this visit, but Taylor is our executive director and has been here since the very, very beginning. Um, 
Taylor. So we're going to talk to Kathleen, our Director of Sales. I'm Taylor, the Executive Director here for Seagrass Village of Fleming Island, and I'm so excited to host our first virtual tour. Uh, we are very excited for days coming that we can have you guys all personally come in and see the building in person and try our food and enjoy Seagrass Village and learn why our residents truly love where they live and why they chose us. Okay, do we want to start questions? Okay, I see our first question is from Kathleen Coleman. Kathleen would have liked to have seen the beauty parlor and the fitness center. Would you mind telling her about that since we're not going to go in there right now? Um, that's a good question. Uh, the beauty salon is open for uh, obviously for men and women, our residents, and we're a full service beauty salon. Uh, they do all kinds of services, just not hair. They do nails. They, we have body massages from our chairs. Um, uh, so all you really do is make an appointment. And as far as our fitness center is, we would be glad to show that to you when we are having visitors in the building. But it's well equipped. Um, our residents are using it daily. And as I mentioned on our tour, um, the fitness center is also uh, where therapy is done. Uh, Strive is a part of our team. They have offices in our building, which is really kind of unusual uh, to have the actual therapy uh, office in a building. So uh, we would be glad to show those things to you and more than happy to make an appointment. Yes. Great. Does anybody else out there have any more questions? I don't see any coming. We are currently providing virtual one-on-one -on -one tours, meaning that you can either set an appointment with us via Skype, Facebook, or we can also um, do a FaceTime if you have an iPhone. Um, where that would be is to give the personalized tours to see individual apartments that are to your liking or to your specifications of what you're looking for. Also seeing different areas of our community such as the beauty salon, the gym. We have a, a media room upstairs on the third floor. We also have a lot of different spaces uh, with poker rooms because our residents love poker. Uh, being able to see the actual dining rooms uh, and we have a few larger spaces um, throughout the entire community to give lots of different areas and social recreationals for our residents. Okay, thank you so much, Taylor. I see another great question from Kathleen Coleman. She is asking, can non-family members visit friends such as John in memory care with the precautions in place as his wife is now able to do? Can you explain a little bit how we're doing virtual visits or visits through uh, the, the doorway? Yes, absolutely. So Kathleen, I urge you to call our front desk number. That is 904-592-1100 and book an appointment. And therefore we can get you in front to see uh, your friend either via FaceTime uh, or we can also get you to come and visit him and have a, we, we are placing plastic sheets in front of the doorways and being able to conversate with the residents. Great. I see another great question from Darlene Dowling. I noticed a stove in this apartment. Do all apartments have stoves? Actually, they don't, but they all have <laughs> kitchens and, and regular sized refrigerators. The independent apartments are the ones that have full kitchens that are equipped with stoves and microwaves. Great. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Liz Kenny had a, another great question. When do you expect to have it back open for visiting? Great question. <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> we, wish, we wish we knew. The governor is, is going to release uh, whenever he chooses, and we are following all of those guidelines and uh, per not only our corporate policy, but also we're following the policies and the executive orders that have been put in place. Once those are lifted, there will definitely, we're excited for that day to have everybody come in. Great. Anybody else have any questions out there for us while we're still live? I'll give you another minute or two to ask a question if you'd like. Um, in the meantime, Kathleen and, and Taylor wanted to add a word or two. I wanted to say that this was just a glimpse of Seagrass Village. This is just a snapshot. 
we really encourage you to make an appointment with Mickey or myself. That's who you're hearing in the background. Mickey is our sales coordinator. Mickey and I work together. If I'm not here, Mickey is always available. Uh, please feel free to call that number that Taylor just said. Uh, the other thing I would suggest is go onto our website and look at our, our website. I think it's, a, it's really well done. It gives you more things to see that we weren't able to show today. Great. Uh, I do see one more question that came about, and this is also a great question, Darlene Dowling. So how does one move a family member in if the facility is closed? That's a good question, Darlene. And we manage, but I'll let Taylor tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we end up doing is everything has to be go through, everything that's going into the building has to go through a sanitation process. Um, meaning that even if you were to move your loved one into the building, we allow one person in, in a very small time frame window that they go through a whole sanita sanitation process and a screening in order for us to get the furniture into the property. After the furniture is settled, my sales team, my maintenance team, we will help get things organized and arranged for that person in their apartment. And so that one loved one that was here to at least help with the logistics of the move, once they leave the, um, the premise, then the resident comes in, they go through their whole sanitation process, and they start living at Seagrass. Perfect. I see there's a couple of other questions out there. I see one from Liz Kenny. Are all of the apartments furnished? That's a very good question. Actually, they are not. The beauty of that is people want to bring their own things. They want to have the things that, when you think of coming out of a home or coming out of a bigger space, the purpose of, of, of bringing your own things would be you bring those things that are important to you. And so, in answer to that question, no, you bring your own things. However, we do have an apartment or two that are set up for an immediate move-in, and I want to make that clear. So if someone says, you know, I, I'm really not sure right now, I don't know if I want to go through the process of bringing my things in, we can totally accommodate that. We can have somebody do their paperwork and have them moved in in 24 hours. Uh, and I see one more question from Kathleen Coleman. Um, Kathleen, you're asking, can outside personnel care persons come in to say, say hi and hang out? I believe you're asking if we can currently have visitors. So Kathleen, would you, or Ka Taylor, would you like to tell them about our visitation right now or what we're normally like and what we hope to go back to? So when we're talking about essential health care personnel, we're talking about companion duty, we're talking about home health agencies, hospice agencies. We do currently uh, now have uh, psych therapy coming in because the, the reality of at this time is, is that this can be a very depressing time in life and we always need a little boost and assistance coming out of that. So Anne, who you met earlier, has set all these different services up to be able to get our residents back into social activities, being that seagrass is always a huge party that they live in all the time. So that we have had a few changes. The personnel that are allowed in the building are licensed and vetted by companies. They are not just random caregivers off the streets. These are people that we've already worked with. They've been screened. Everybody coming in and out of the property is screened each time. So, and they have to have all their license and insurance uh, to back them up to prove that they are uh, essential. essential care personnel. Great. Um, Kathleen, thank you for clarifying this question. She has a question about podiatry. Do we offer podiatry services in our building? Yes, we sure do, absolutely. They come two times a month. Great. Um, does anyone else have a question out there? We, why don't you go ahead and explain that we also have a doctor's? Yeah, that's, I should elaborate on that. The beauty of living in a community like this is so, so that everything is at arm's length. It, when you live here, we provide an in-house doctor. We have a podiatrist, we have dermatology, we have a clinic. And the benefit to the resident is they're not leaving the community and getting in and out and going into doctor's office. Appointments are made on time. And the purpose is it also alleviates the family. It, 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 they're liberated from the things that 
they would ordinarily have to do. And I think the residents appreciate it because they want to be independent. They want those things to be taken care of and make those appointments on their own. So in answer to your question, yes. Oh, Great. Yes. We have, we have had a lot of families very grateful that we have all those service providers um, within in-house, especially labs and stuff like that, because they're not having to take all their family members, number one, get them um, uh, vulnerable to the outside world at this time, but also two, the family member themselves. We're cutting down any kind of action that a resident could possibly have with um, coming in contact with the virus. Great. Well, it looks like we have no more questions to answer. Do you have any closing words for us? I do, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> um, I would say that give us, give us a call. Um, our website is a wealth of information. Our telephone number is on there in case you need it again. It's 904-592-1100. -1 I think once things open up and you're able to come in, you're gonna see all the things that we've been talking about. A heartfelt community, a staff that's very solid and has been together right from the beginning. And that, by the way, is very unusual. Uh, when you're looking for a community, everybody has beautiful buildings and all the amenities that most people have, or most communities have. But the thing that sets you apart is your culture, how you feel, how we make people feel. Uh, it's heartfelt and that's what I would be looking for and also be looking for a staff like ours. And one more thing that I think is critical is our licensing. We have a lot of things going for us that a lot of other communities don't. We have a high level of licensing, very important and you wouldn't think of it until you were in the midst of it. We're in a no flood zone, that's critical in Florida. So I guess my point is we're so excited to do this today and excited to talk with you and answer your you know your future questions but please give us a call and um, ask for myself or Mickey and if we're not available our executive director and our resident service director are always there we we all are a team doing this together yes any questions any concerns myself my entire management team um, we are more than happy to answer any and all questions also too, just being able to come by and actually meet with us outside of the building, we are more than happy to do that as well. We can create to-go menus or to-go boxes for you guys so you can at least have a taste of what amazing food Brian creates. Um, Our we, food is terrific. It's so good. It's so terrific, good. hands down, Brian's got it. We live in the heart of Fleming Island with every restaurant known to man around, but we don't go to restaurants. We go to a Seagrass Village restaurant every mm -hmm. single day. Um, but more importantly, we, this is something new for us all, so we're a little leery of, of doing this Facebook Live tour and, and worried that we're going to mess up or something, but that, the reality is that we're human beings and this is, the world is changing and we're going to be changing with it. And we're Absolutely. excited to continue our relationships with all of our families as well as prospective families. When you become a part of Seagrass, you become a part of a huge family. and. Um, we're proud of it. We are very, very proud of it. We thank every single one of our families uh, that currently their loved ones reside in here for all their support and their well wishes. And we are very excited to continue to show off our amazing community. So thank you so much for everybody for who have attended this live tour. Sorry if we had any like mess ups or camera going the wrong way, um, but we tried. Mm -hmm. So. And with that being said, thank you so much. We wish you all have the best afternoon and give us a call. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Kathleen, and thank you, Taylor, and thank you, and thank you for all joining us. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.